Concerns about aviation safety have intensified following revelations about a little-known system in modern aircraft that has led to serious in-flight emergencies. This system, which has been unexpectedly triggered on multiple occasions, has resulted in hazardous conditions for pilots and passengers alike. While aviation regulators have acknowledged these incidents, their response has been criticized as insufficient, leaving pressing questions about the risks that remain unresolved. The aircraft at the center of this debate is the Boeing 737 MAX, an airplane already infamous due to past failures that resulted in deadly crashes. The current controversy, however, focuses on a different issue, the load reduction device, a component designed to stabilize engines after specific types of damage. What has emerged is an alarming flaw. This system, when activated, can release toxic smoke into the aircraft's ventilation system leading to terrifying mid-air situations. As one of the most famous YouTube aviation channel, Mentor Pilot has revealed, one of the most concerning incidents took place when a Southwest Airlines Boeing 737 MAX 8, operating a routine flight from Havana, Cuba to Fort Lauderdale, Florida, suffered a sudden and violent bird strike shortly after takeoff. A large bird was ingested into the right engine, instantly causing severe damage to the fan blades. The engine initially continued to operate, but it soon developed violent vibrations. The pilots, following emergency procedures, shut the engine down in an attempt to stabilize the aircraft. What followed was completely unexpected. Within moments, thick, acrid smoke poured into the aircraft cabin, reducing visibility to a matter of feet and causing passengers and crew to cough uncontrollably. Eyes burned, throats tightened, and panic began to spread through the cabin as the pilots struggled to understand what was happening. The crew, acting swiftly, declared an emergency and made the difficult decision to return to Havana. Although the landing was successfully executed, many passengers required medical attention for respiratory distress. Investigators later traced the source of the smoke to the load reduction device, which had inadvertently released engine oil into the aircraft's pressurization system. This alarming event did not prompt an immediate response from regulators, and months later, a nearly identical incident occurred. Another Southwest Airlines Boeing 737 MAX 8, this time departing from New Orleans, encountered a catastrophic bird strike after takeoff. This time, the left engine was affected, and just as before, the load reduction device activated releasing dangerous smoke directly into the cockpit. The pilots, struggling to see through the thick haze, were forced to rely on oxygen masks to breathe. Flight controls became increasingly difficult to read, and communication between the crew became strained due to the confusion caused by the emergency. Subsequent analysis revealed that the smoke contained high concentrations of formaldehyde and acrolein, chemicals known to cause serious respiratory distress. Shockingly, a leaked FAA document later confirmed that these toxins could reach lethal levels within a matter of seconds. The chilling realization that pilots could be rendered unconscious before they even had time to react sent waves of concern throughout the aviation industry. At the heart of the problem lies the design of the Boeing 737 MAX's pressurization system. The aircraft's left engine is responsible for supplying air to the cockpit while the right engine provides air for the passenger cabin. When the load reduction device activates, it dumps oil into the engine's airflow, which then enters the ventilation system. Depending on which engine is affected, the smoke is either forced into the cockpit, impairing the pilot's ability to control the plane, or into the passenger cabin, endangering the health of everyone on board. Despite the gravity of these findings, the Federal Aviation Administration did not issue an immediate directive. Internal investigators, however, quickly identified the severity of the problem and drafted a document outlining urgent recommendations to address the issue. Among the proposed measures was a procedural change that would prevent cockpit contamination by modifying the use of the air conditioning system. Another recommendation called for an automatic shutoff mechanism that would cut off air supply from a damaged engine as soon as dangerous vibrations were detected. Furthermore, it was suggested that pilot training materials be revised to include detailed explanations of the load reduction device, as many pilots were completely unaware of its existence. 
Boeing's initial bulletin, which had failed to acknowledge that oil leaks were an expected outcome of load reduction device activation, was also identified as needing immediate correction. Investigators further recommended upgrading oxygen masks for flight crews as older models required separate goggles, delaying the protection necessary in smoke-filled environments. Additionally, there were calls to reassess the estimated likelihood of load reduction device activation, as real-world incidents had occurred more frequently than Boeing's initial projections had suggested. Despite these critical findings, the FAA convened a Corrective Action Review Board that ultimately decided against implementing any immediate changes. Instead, the agency opted to wait for further investigation. This decision generated controversy, particularly after reports emerged that the lead investigator who had initially raised concerns was abruptly removed from the case. The inaction by aviation regulators has raised serious concerns among industry experts who warn that the risks posed by load reduction device activation remain significant. Under the wrong conditions, the resulting smoke could incapacitate an entire flight crew, leading to catastrophic consequences. Experts have warned that if an incident like this were to occur in a particularly dangerous situation, such as during takeoff from an airport surrounded by mountains or in poor weather conditions, pilots could lose control of the aircraft with disastrous results. Despite repeated warnings, Boeing and engine manufacturer CFM have taken only limited action. While Boeing issued a bulletin explaining the function of the load reduction device and advising pilots to follow emergency checklists carefully, no immediate corrective measures have been mandated. Meanwhile, CFM has acknowledged that the load reduction device performed as designed, but stated that they are working with Boeing to develop a long-term solution. However, the continued lack of immediate action has left thousands of flights potentially vulnerable to a similar crisis. The load reduction device is not unique to the Boeing 737 MAX. Similar systems exist in Airbus A320neo aircraft, as well as Boeing 777 and 787 models. It remains unclear whether these aircraft could experience the same problems, though some experts believe the risk may be lower due to differences in their pressurization systems. The Boeing 787, for example, relies on an electrical pressurization system rather than traditional bleed air, which may prevent similar smoke-related events. The aviation industry has learned painful lessons in the past due to delayed regulatory responses. The infamous MCAS failures that led to the deadly 737 MAX crashes demonstrated the dangers of failing to properly inform pilots about critical aircraft systems. Decades earlier, Turkish Airlines Flight 981 crashed due to a cargo door design flaw that had been identified but left unaddressed. These tragedies serve as grim reminders that failing to act on known risks can lead to disaster. Critics argue that the inaction by regulatory agencies represents a failure to prioritize passenger and crew safety. Currently, the scrutiny over the load reduction device intensifies and the demand for change in the system grows louder. As multiple in-flight emergencies have already been recorded, the aviation community remains on high alert. Until concrete steps are taken to address this issue, pilots and passengers alike may continue to face an avoidable and potentially life-threatening hazard. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel.